Hi there, I want to make a quick video on how to validate requests using API Gateway. Let's recap for a second what we have seen so far. In the previous video, I showed how to, the request flow is composed with request flow integration and response flow, and how to use custom authorizer and API key to create usage plans. If you are interested in those videos, I'm going to link it in the description. Now I want to explain the next step, which is how to configure the method requests of an API. Method requests are like the public interface of your API. They define what your endpoint expects, which elements are required and more. With the method requests, you can configure different parts of the request, such as the query params, headers and body. The first parameters I want to show are the query strings and the HTTP headers. So let's say that your uh, API may require like a certain headers, like the classic example is the uh, authorization header or the if modifies since header when you want to make like conditional requests. And you want to uh, hit the integration step of your API, this, this step, the AWS Lambda or the HTTP proxy, only if uh, those headers are in the request. You can do that by validating the headers or using CloudFormation or using Serverless Framework. Uh, I'm going to show you how, how is the um, syntax of the serverless framework. You can also do that uh, from the AWS console, and I'm going to show an example at the end of the video. Uh, the same uh, reasoning is for the headers, sorry, for the query string. So let's say you have uh, a query string which is required by your API because you want to maybe uh, filter the request or indicate like a pagination information you can set uh, query strings as required on your request. If those headers or query strings are not provided in the API, the API Gateway will um, respond with a 400 bad request error. You can do the same thing with the request body of your API. Of course, this is like a more complex validation because uh, the body is a JSON file. And in this case, you need a request model. A request model is just a JSON schema document that you have to put on your API gateway. This is an example that I, um, I took from the AWS documentation showing like a JSON uh, body of an API. So department with some like a uh, property, like department, which is a string categories, which is like an array of string and bins. The associated schema will be uh, for the properties of the JSON file. You have to specify the type. So department is string. Categories is type array, items are strings, and then you have all the different uh, categories and properties for the uh, bins array, so, in, so like the price is the number, and so on. In this way, you can validate the body of your API um, request. So we've seen how to validate query strings, headers, and body. Um, I want to summarize the key takeaways from this method request step. So the method request step is, I would say, primarily used for uh, validation of the incoming request. So your integration server knows uh, what to expect from the request. And you can set required headers and query strings in this method request step. And you can validate the body using a request model, which is basically a JSON file. And I would suggest to implement this, this method request tab because you will have a more consistent um, requests presented to your integration step. So now let's move to the AWS console. I want to show you how to uh, create the validation uh, step on the request uh, method. This is the API Gateway uh, console. Uh, this is my API. If I go on the resources and I click on the on a specific resource, the console is showing me the flow, so method request, integration request, the lambda function, and then all the response flow. Uh, if you want to add the validation step, I have to go on the method request. And here I have to set uh, the validators. So you can decide different uh, request validators. In this case, here is saying validate query string parameters and headers. You can do validate uh, all of them, like body, query string, parameters, and headers, or you can validate body, or you can just skip this step. 
once you select your request validator, you have to go on this uh, step here. I, I like added uh, a new field start date, which is required. And I'm going to do like the same thing, like end date, uh, end date, click, and then I'm going to say required. So in this case, if I do not provide the query string with end date and start date, my API will uh, respond with the 400 bad request code. Same thing for the request headers and for the request body, as we said, we have to add a model. Okay, that's all for the metal request step. Please let me know what you think in the comments and follow the channel for other videos on API Gateway and serverless services. Thanks for watching.